Good morning, Minxie ladies. We thought we'd get in nice and early this morning. It's just the two of us here this morning, just Ella and I. Um, and we're just having a little play around. We're like, oh, what should we talk to the ladies about this morning? And we had such chatter about the Baxter boot. And so I thought what we would do is show you some other new styling on this um, same sort of sole unit. And now Ella did say to me that some of you ladies had said, why have you taken the back zipper out of the Baxter boot? And um, we just wanted to say that the integrity of the zip in through this particular last shape um, didn't work so well um, for the design of it. So it's actually just easier to be able to lace in and out of this boot. Remembering it's a speed lacing situation um, and that the eyelets are nice and, uh, nice and big in through here so you can very quickly and easily open that bellows tongue out to slip into it. Um, we've done that because um, we know that you will fit this boot 100% well if you can slip in and out of it through the front like this. What we were finding with the back zipper is that some ladies, um, they, they had a higher instep and they were putting pressure on the back of the zip and too much pressure will just simply um, blow it. So it's actually my fault as a designer. Um, I didn't see that as being an issue. Um, so yeah, this way we don't have that um, for the season coming forward. Of course, what you ladies have loved about this boot is the uh, beautiful... It's a really, really nicely moulded soft rubber outsole. Um, super spongy on and under the foot. So there's a whole big selection this winter. Many, many, many more styles of boots. But today, we thought we'd highlight the loafer. Just because it's getting cooler in the mornings, so it's really, really nice to have like... Um, you know, a little loafer on at this time of the year. Kind of like a transitioning style, um, where you're getting those kind of spicy cold mornings and then it kind of evolves into a warmer midday. So yeah, that's what I think, that's kind of resonates a lot. Hey ladies, we're back. So sorry about that. Bit of a te technical hitch, we don't know what quite went on there. Uh, just to quickly recap for the ladies that were watching before, um, we're just going to focus um, today's chat about this particular sole unit in last, the Baxter boot, which has been a fantastic seller for us. Um, we're now into season two of this. Um, you love it because it's got a lovely, lovely soft rubber outsole on it, nice and flexible. Uh, and you love it because the, the last fits really, really well. Of course, the designs are not too bad on top either. Um, so we actually thought today, just given the temperature change at the moment, where we're doing that kind of spicy cold in the morning, and then it heating up during the day, it's quite nice loafer season. So I've thrown on, in this particular sole unit, a couple of loafers for you to have a look at. And I just wanted to chat about the fit and feel of them. So the first one I want to profile is the Lily. This is the Lily here. Uh, the colorway that you're looking at, I believe we called it Sand Metallic Suede, um, which is really gorgeous. In fact, some of the ladies that we've seen come into our HQ have tried it on with denim and it looks fantastic. Um, denim, white pants, that, that kind of little, um, you know, rolled up, I'm just trying to think why the denim pant is what the lady came in the other day and she tried them on and looked fab fabulous. Uh, but I can imagine it back with like a, a tailored white pant as well etc um, etc et so lovely color quite neutral I've just thrown them on here um, with my rooftop uh, is it my rooftop oh, gallery dress. gallery gallery dress uh, so this is it here so you know ladies I have a chunkier ankle I would prefer to wear a chunkier heavier loafer uh, but I am actually just loving the feel of this under the foot and on the foot now the fit of the suede one is superb I think because the tab across the front here is very plain, it's not embellished, uh, there's no restriction of that um, or feeling over the arch of my foot. Now I've put its little cousin on, which is on the same sole unit, that same rubber outsole sole. Uh, however, I, I can feel this trim across here. It is quite firm. Uh, so ladies, if you suffer from very high insteps, I think this style is going to not be the style for you. I would prefer to put you into uh, the softer, um, non-trim uh, tab loafer over here, which is the Lily. Uh, the le little leather one is Pandora. This is a beautiful um, ivory crocodile embossed leather. And you've got this lovely tab chain over the front, uh, tab um, hardware detailing over the front there. The thing to remember with this is that this is the only thing that is keeping your foot in, to, in these loafers and keeping it fixed in here, um, and on the foot. Does that make sense? So it does need to be a little bit firm, but I am going to say if you do have a high instep, choose this style, Lily, over the Pandora. Uh, if you've got sort of like a um, slightly flatter 
flatter foot uh, or narrower foot, this is going to be absolutely 100% fine on you. So let me show you some colour options in the styles, ladies. Have we got any questions so far, dear? Just two highs. Hi. <laughs> We don't know what happened this morning. It's just been a crazy, crazy morning, ladies. Uh, we thought we had a bit of a technical error there. Uh, so, okay, we're going to zoom in and show you the other colorways here. So, um, this is the style, Lily, we were just talking about. So, you've got that beautiful sand metallic suede, which is lovely, buttery, uh, soft. With suede, you get that real glove-like feel against your foot. Uh, and, of course, to protect it, all you need is like a little spray. Um, I mean, the leather's already, the suede leather's already had one spray. But it always pays to just pop another of that rain guard, um, Scotch guardy sort of um, spray on it to protect it even more. And then you've got the lovely um, black. I mean, black is black, right? So that's nice and easy. Um, this comes to life on. I'll just throw it on for you. Uh, we don't have Renee here, so we can't really tell you too much about uh, what the longer sizes feel and like in the loafers. Uh, we can tell you, though, that she is a 41 in the Baxter boot, so I'm assuming she'd be... I'm assuming it's a true to size fit there. So that's a lovely, um, sort of plain, but you know, it's going to do the job. It's uh, black. Fiona Gray says yeah. the metallic shades are selling well for us at Super Minx. Oh, yay! Fantastic. Yeah, nice neutral, nice neutral. And great for this time of the year. Um, what else do I grab out here? Um, sorry, that, ladies. <laughs> I was going to grab out. Well, was that the other Pandora yeah, one? That's the other Pandora there. Um, I was going to throw that on to show the ladies but anyway this is the um, black small patient black small patient thank you ella thanks what will we do with it, ella? <laughs> um so yeah this is the black small patient uh so you can see there quite clearly the beautiful metal trim detailing and through there um and the base of this is a leather it's got like a little um sort of a patenty um spot Emboss uh, and raised embossed on that leather there. It's super super lovely. And then of course you've got the nice red um, Insole on that just to make it come to life and stand out The other little thing I wanted to point out with the difference in these loafers. They're actually from two different parts of our collection um, So this is sort of our Minx Boutique collection, which is a little bit more jazzed up side of things And you'll notice with this one that you've got um, the pet style Pandora. You have this lovely little leather leather trim coming through the sole there um, the other style, which is the Lili, which is designed to be just slightly, slightly more, I guess, sophisticated and conservative, for lack of better words, doesn't have all that embellishment in through here. It's a very simplified uh, version of the other style. I hope that does make sense, what I'm sort of saying there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's that. We've got any questions about the loafers this morning, ladies? No. Nope. Okay. We actually were thinking we might do like a bit of a profile on all of the different loafers that we have here at the HQ. There are so many varieties. You can get peeled loafers, uh, chunky ones, uh, the sort of more refined, um, sort of pointy ones as well. So there's quite a variety. So we might look on that next week maybe for you if there's a little bit of interest. Uh, if there is interest, leave a little note below saying yes, we'd like to see more loafers. Um, or if there's something else that you'd like us to profile, we're super happy to do that. Um, yeah, so I think what we might do is box on with our day. We've got lots and lots to do today. So... Uh, yes, actually, just, I don't know if I can say anything yet, but we are planning on a massive promotion um, with some fabulous, fabulous new collab partners. So you're going to have to stay tuned and watch out for that. It's going to be an amazing giveaway prize. So I uh, can't say too much just yet, but we will be dropping some clues um, rather soon for you about what is coming up. Yeah, cool. Is that it? Yep, that's all. Yep, so good. All right, have a great day, ladies. We'll catch up with you uh, probably tomorrow. See ya. Bye.